Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 13 of Book 3, which before I state what the proposition is, I would like to say that when two circles touch each other, it means that the lines do not cross from one side of the line to the other. That's the definition of touch. This proposition states that if you have two circles external to each other, they can only touch at one point if they're touching. And if you have two circles internal to each other, if they touch, they can only touch at one point. And we are going to demonstrate this by using contradictions. So to do that, we are going to assume that we have this green circle and the circle EBD is going to touch the green circle in two places at B and D. Now this is not a circle, obviously, but we need to imagine that it is for us to come up with our contradiction. Likewise, we are going to assume that this green circle and this black circle touch each other at the point A and C. In other words, what we really are saying here is that this circle comes around like this and it here, it sort of goes like that. Now I didn't draw it that way because this is the way that Euclid drew his diagrams and I'm trying to be consistent with Euclid. So starting with this black circle and this green circle, or EBD and the green circle, we're going to define G and H as the center of the circles. Now when I say define, I mean we're assuming that G and H are the center of the circles. Again, we have to use a fair amount of imagination for this, but it doesn't invalidate our proof even though they're obviously not the center of the circles. Let's connect the line or the points G and H. Now the line between G and H, if extended, will touch the points where the circles intersect according to Proposition 11 of Book 3. So now we have that BG is equal to GD because G is the center of the green circle and HB and HD are equal because it is the center of this black circle E. These are where these two equalities come from because we're assuming these are the centers of the circle. Now, let's look at this line here. We have G, D, just a moment. G, D is obviously larger than H, D. So we have G, D is larger than H, D. GD is equal to BG, so we have BG is greater than HG. Well, if BG is greater than HD, then BH must be much larger than HD. So we have that BH is much, much larger than HD. Again, to recap, if BG is bigger than HG, then this line here is obviously much bigger than that line. So here we have our statement. However, at the beginning, we had that BH is equal to HD because H is supposed to be the center of one of these circles. Well, if H is the center of one of these circles, this relationship cannot be true. And if this relationship cannot be true, the whole hypothesis falls apart. So in other words, we cannot have the two points B and D as the point where the two circles touch. So there cannot be two points where the circles touch. Using the same arguments, you could also go for three points, four points, etc. So we have thus demonstrated by contradiction that these two circles can only touch at one point. 
Now carrying on, we have this green circle and this black circle touching at point A and C. Let's join A and C with a line. Now according to Proposition 2 of Book 3, a line from A to C lies inside of a circle. So this line A and C must lie inside the green circle. But if it's lying inside the green circle, by the definition of where the points are touching, it cannot lie inside this circle K. But it has to lie inside that circle K because we've already established that from Proposition 2 of Book 3. So with a little bit of thinking and trying to figure out exactly what Euclid meant, remember that this circle here, AK, goes around, touches the green circle at C, and jumps over and touches the circle at point A, in which case this line would lie outside the circle, which violates one of our previous propositions, so we have a contradiction. Thus showing that we cannot have two points touching of two circles external to each other. So there we have shown that two circles can only touch each other at one point. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.